Happy Sunday, Axe Nerds! Okay, in this week's, month's, year's episodes, I've been inspired by the internet to see if a cheap mod makes a difference to my Strat style guitar. We're going to try and do some science here, so there's going to be some A-B testing. It's the same strings, the same pick, the same guitar, obviously. And we're going to try to get something different out of an old Strat style pickup. So, the device is the pickup claw that comes with the Fender Jaguar. It looks like this, rather strange contraption. The claims are that it will shield RF interference, which it surely will do to some extent. And the other claim is that the magnetic field lines will be different as they intersect the strings, thus changing the power and tone of the pickup. So let's get started. Let's get the magnet paper out to see what the current pattern looks like. So those two pickups are essentially the same design and build. And we can see not too much. It's only magnet paper, but that's our baseline. Come installation time, you can see that I use wine corks to essentially screw pickups directly into the body. For me, uh, I like this because it adds less coloration and noise from any other moving components, but it's not actually particularly standard practice for those older designs. When the pickup is fitted with the claw, it makes the pickup deeper as the pickup cable actually comes out of the base of the pickup. This makes the pickup stand prouder. The initial signal in that position was 8 dB stronger, and I didn't want to color the results in two ways. One, by having the pickup too close to the strings, because that will actually pull on the string in a, an obvious way, the dreaded wolf tone, which we don't want. And the other way is by having radically different signal strengths, which can be normalized away, but is still not a good like for like test. So the sensitive should look away now because some digging was required to root the cables underneath. And we come back and here we have the pickup in its final resting place with the claw. So that took some attempts and here is a screenshot of the recording from the original position and the three subsequent attempts to see the pickup. Two of those are rejected because they're simply way too hot. Let's have a look at the pattern with the magnetic paper. It's possible that the pattern looks a little different around the bridge pickup now. I can see a ring of white which didn't seem to appear anywhere else. And let's have another look at the audio and this time the two stretches are normalized to avoid any misleading conclusions we come from having different perceptual loudnesses. The piece I'm playing is very, very simple. It's got some open strings. There is some hand plucking. There is some strumming. There's some fast strumming, some palm muting. And finally, we let the notes ring. The intent is to let all the different ways that the tone and the high airy frequencies picked up by the pickup to be exposed by different playing styles. I'm hoping all those different techniques will produce the range of noises and squeaks and high harmonics that will occur in normal use in different styles and cover all of those. The video shows the spectrum analyzers for before and after recordings, which are intended to be as close as I can make them. The actual audio is those two things panned left and right with the claw being the right recording.
As to the changes I think I can hear, I perceive the claw maybe takes a little of the top airy very high frequencies out and maybe makes the mid-range sound a little chunkier than the unadorned pickup. When we look at the Spectrum Analyzer, naturally as it's a pickup you can see that it's hard to really discern what's happening at the very, very high end, but it does seem to be slightly curtailed. I can certainly convince myself there is a bit of an uplift around the 2.5 kilohertz region, which is the kind of change that will start to change the tone of a pickup. Other than that, we can hear the sound is not massively changed. So in conclusion, this is one of those changes that is borderline between being unobservable to being a slight tonal shift that you may enjoy making to your instrument. It would be particularly easy to do on a Strat style guitar, of course, so don't be put off by the woodworking shenanigans I had to go through. And there we go, that's some Sunday science. And finally, Peace.